I'm very pleased to be here today to share some very exciting news with all of you. It's good news about jobs, it's good news about our local economy, and I believe to the very heart of what we speak, it is good news for the very spirit of our city. I'm proud to announce that we will soon break ground for the Niagara Centre for the Arts and Recital Hall. Well, this is a very important day. Today, the federal and provincial governments each announced that they would provide $18 million, $36 million in all, toward the construction of the Niagara Centre for the Performing Arts, of which Brock University is an integral partner. Eventually, this will be part of a larger complex, which will also see the Marilyn I. Walker School of Performing Arts move downtown into an integrated facility adjoining the, uh, the Centre for the Arts. This is without a doubt one of the uh, biggest announcements that we've had in the city of St. Catharines and the region of Niagara in terms of uh, enhancing the position of the cultural community and cultural workers in our area, if you will. Projects like this show that we are moving forward with the next steps needed to take our city and our region into a new era. It, it is a great day here in, uh, in, in downtown St. Catharines. We're so excited about the uh, the new Niagara Center for Performing Arts and our partnership with Brock University and, and, uh, and the fact that we have you know, 18 million dollars both from the federal and provincial governments and that confidence and that kind of support for the city of St. Catharines and for this project in particular is, uh, is really gratifying. No one would stand equal in uh, her commitment to making this project a reality than Rosemary Hale. This project began as Dean Hale's vision and she too has been relentless, let us say, this has been a dream vision for me since I came to Brock in 2000 because at Brock University, dramatic arts, visual arts, music, studies in arts and culture, they are dynamic. They are fabulously wonderful programs with incredible faculty, amazingly talented students with not so fabulous digs. One of the things that, that made this project uh, so appealing to both the federal and provincial governments was Brock's involvement. With Brock University as an active an important partner with the city, the success of this project and the impact it will have on our region will be the envy of many other communities. This has been what I've been saying is a, is a team effort. It's really been a collective effort of the arts community, the city, Brock University, uh, the federal provincial governments, everybody coming together, the business community saying we need this to happen in downtown St. Catharines. I think this is going to be a, a much bigger and better uh, uh, result of, of how Brock's engaged in our community, how Brock's engaged in St. Catharines and uh, I can't think of a better way to do that than moving the Performing Arts uh, Centre downtown. We're seeing more and more of that interaction between municipal governments and our university and our community college as being major institutions playing a significant role in the economic development and overall quality of life in our area. It'll cement our role within the regional family as a cultural hub of the Niagara region. It'll bring new investment, I believe both residential as well as commercial development downtown and, uh, and provide some exciting entertainment opportunities uh, for, uh, for visitors to the new uh, Centre for the Performing Arts.